Mark chapter 14 verses 3 and 8 And being in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came having an alabaster flask of very costly oil of spike nard. Then she broke the flask and poured it on his head. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. The event in today's reading happened in the house of Simon, who Jesus had healed of leprosy. Simon had invited Jesus, the disciples, and Lazarus' family. While Martha was busy cooking, Mary was drinking in every word that fell from the lips of Jesus. Not only had Mary been forgiven by Jesus, but he had also resurrected her beloved brother, Nazareth. She yearned to express her love and gratitude to him. In an act of great sacrifice, she decided to open a bottle of extremely expensive perfume and poured it on his head. It was one of the greatest ways she could have chosen to express her deep appreciation. Yet she did not fully understand what she was doing. Jesus explained, She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Jesus went through his own funeral before his death, and it was officiated by Mary. Normally, this would not have been acceptable, but Jesus received what she did with a sincere gratitude. Apart from Mary, there were other people involved in Jesus' funeral, Joseph of Arimathea, Nicodemus, and some other women. Joseph took Jesus' body and buried him in his own tomb. Nicodemus brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds in weight. We view what they did as honest kindness and heartfelt love. However, their gifts were bestowed upon the cold, unconscious form of Jesus. Even the women who took spices to his tomb found that their errand was in vain as he had already risen. Mary's gift, in contrast, was given to Jesus when his spirit was weary and his heart was breaking. She lavished her love upon Jesus, who had lavishly loved her, and was about to undergo the greatest act of loving sacrifice for all mankind. Many people bring their devotion, love, gifts to deceased loved ones. How much greater would they be if they were brought when the ear could hear and the heart could feel? How do you show your love? Do you express it to the recipient when they can hear and feel it? Or do you find yourself acting out of regret trying to do something at the last possible moment? Love should never be put off. Your loved ones may not be able to wait for you. Neither should you procrastinate in loving Jesus. He can wait, but perhaps you can't. You don't know what tomorrow will hold. You may not have a chance to express your love for Him. Let's give our devotion and love to our Lord Jesus and to the people around us while we still can.